During this lesson, we will apply what you learned during Lesson 2 to check your email using Gmail. First, I will demonstrate the steps to change your inbox from Standard View to Basic HTML View, which is easier to navigate with JAWS. Then, I will show you how to check your messages, reply, compose a new message, and delete a message. I will start by opening Firefox and typing gmail.com into the address bar. Windows D, folder view, list view, Camtasia 2018, check 12 of 13. To move to items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. F, Firefox checked, enter. Mozilla Firefox. Home. Alt D. Gmail selected, period, gmail.com, enter, home. Gmail dash free storage and email from Google dash Mozilla Firefox. Gmail dash free storage and email from Google page has to. Next, I will press down arrow until I reach sign in and then press enter. This should open a new web page that will allow me to type my username. I will know that I be can begin typing when I hear a pop noise, which means that my computer focus is in the email or phone edit field. For some reason, if I don't hear the pop, I can always use my down arrow to find it. I will type my email address and press enter. Visited link Google. Visited link Gmail. Same page link skip the content. List of three items. Link for work. Visited link sign in. Enter. Sign in link Firefox. Visited Gmail dash Mozilla Firefox. Not your computer. Use a private window to sign in. Email or phone edit. Type in text. Forms mode. Com, enter. Email or phone edit. Star student at gmail.com. Enter your password. Password edit. Type in text. I will repeat the same process for my password. Star, star, star. Enter. Enter your password. Password edit. Circle, bullet, circle, bullet, circle, bullet. Gmail dash Mozilla Firefox. Loading standard view vertical bar. Gmail page has no links. Unread. Amanda Fierro. Practice email. May 6th. Hi students. I hope you are learning lots of useful information about JAWS. Amanda. I heard JAWS say loading standard view. Standard view is the default view that Gmail loads in. However, it is easier to navigate Gmail at this time with JAWS by switching it to basic HTML view. To find the basic HTML view button, I will press Control Home to make sure my focus is at the top of my web page. Next, I will press down arrow until I hear Basic HTML View button and then press Enter. Inbox left parent one right parent dash star student at gmail dot com dash gmail. Basic HTML View button. Enter. Basic HTML View button. Gmail dash inbox dash Mozilla Firefox. I just heard JAWS read that I am currently viewing Gmail in basic HTML. When you hear this, you can use your down arrow to find the set basic HTML as default view link and press enter. This way, you won't have to make this change every time you log into your email. Search. Heading level one link Gmail by Google. Blank. Link set basic HTML as default view. Enter. Set basic HTML as default view link. Gmail dash inbox dash Mozilla Firefox. Page has eight headings and 43 links. Link standard view. Vertical bar. Link Google account. Vertical bar. Link settings. Now that I have logged into basic HTML view and made that my default, I am ready to check my messages. Each message has a checkbox in front of it, and by pressing the X hotkey, I can jump past the header of the web page and write to my messages. Listen as I demonstrate. Column 1, row 1. Amanda Fierro checkbox not checked. JAWS just read Amanda Fierro checkbox not checked. This is the name of the sender of my email, which in this case was me. I can now use my down arrow to navigate to the subject link and press enter to open my email. Amanda Fierro. Link practice email dash hi students. I hope you are enter. Practice email dash hi students. I hope you are learning lots of useful information about JAWS. Best MS Amanda Amanda Fierro M.ed TVI slash comms 51. 
When my email opens, JAWS reads the subject and the message automatically. When I hear the end of the message, I can press control to pause the JAWS speech. If I want to hear the message or part of the message again, I can press the N key to move my focus to non-linked text in the message. Non-linked text is text that is just meant for reading. It does not contain any links that will take you to a new web page. I will press end now until I hear the greeting of my message, hi students, and then press my down arrow to read the rest of my message again. Heading level two account options. Search. Heading level two folders. Heading level two labels. Archive button. Heading level two practice email. Heading level three Amanda Fierro. Hi students. I hope you are learning lots of useful information about JAWS. Best. MS Amanda. If I want to reply to this email, I can press E for edit field until I hear quick reply edit. I can then type my reply, press tab until I get to the send button, and press enter. Edit. Enter. Edit. Type in text. JAWS. Practice. Send button. Enter. Gmail dash inbox dash Mozilla Firefox page has seven headings and 44 links. Link compose mail alt plus shift plus C heading folders. After my message sends, I'm automatically brought back to my inbox. Let's say I want to compose a new message. I can press alt shift C, which will activate the compose link. When the page reloads, my focus will be in the to edit field. I can type the email address of the person I am emailing. Alt Shift C Compose Mail Alt Plus Shift Plus C Link Gmail Dash Compose Mail Dash Mozilla Firefox Create a Filter Link With Edmayern Add I just type the name of the person I will email, Nina Wibbenmeyer, another teacher in short-term programs. I can tap through the CC and BCC edit fields until I get to Subject and type my subject. Edu. CC colon edit type and text. BCC colon edit type and text. Subject colon edit type and text. Hi. Nina exclaim. I will continue tabbing through the browse button and the attach files button until I hear a pop noise. This lets me know that my focus is in the edit field where I can write the body of my message. Attach file frame browse button. Attach more files button. Message body edit type and text. Hop. Nina comma enter enter. I hope you have a great shift space. Enter enter. Best comma enter. After I have my message written, I will tab to the send button and press enter. Amanda, send button. Enter. Gmail dash inbox dash Mozilla Firefox page has seven headings and 44 links. Your message has been sent. Link compose mail alt plus shift shift. I heard JAWS read your message has been sent, so I know that my message was sent. If I want to delete a message, I can select the checkbox in front of it using my spacebar. For example, I can delete a Google critical security alert that I know I don't need. First, I will use my X hotkey to jump to the checkbox in front of Google. Column one, row one, Amanda Fierro checkbox not checked. Amanda Fierro checkbox not checked. Google checkbox not checked. Next, I will press the space bar to check this checkbox. Space checked. Then, I will press the B button until I hear JAWS say delete button, and then I will press enter. Archive button. Report spam button. Delete button. Enter. Delete button. Mail.google.com.mail.u.0.h.1pn0jx5wmhhqt Gmail-inbox page has seven headings and 44 links. Gmail-inbox link search link images images. 
There is one more helpful command for email navigation that we will learn today. If I want to return to my inbox quickly, I can press Alt Shift I. Alt Shift I inbox Alt plus Shift plus I link Gmail dash inbox dash Mozilla Firefox page has seven. Finally, don't forget that you can still use the navigation commands that we learned in the previous lesson to navigate Gmail in basic HTML. For example, if you open your links list dialog box, you will find all possible links you might need on your web page, such as starred, sent mail, and trash. You can also find compose mail and inbox this way. Links list dialog, links list view, compose mail alt plus shift plus c, 17 of 43, to move, inbox alt plus shift plus i, 18 of 43, start star, 19 of 43, sent mail, 20 of 43, drafts, 21 of 43, all mail 22 of 43, spam 23 of 43, trash 24 of 43, escape, gmail dash inbox. In this lesson, we reviewed switching Gmail to basic HTML format, checking messages, replying to a message, composing a new message, and deleting an email. We also learned that you can still use the internet navigation commands we learned in lesson two if you need to or if you want to explore Gmail to see what else is there beyond the scope of this lesson.